Hello, esteemed medical professionals. Today, we embark on a crucial topic in the realm of thoracic medicine, intercoastal drainage. I'm excited to guide you through the essentials of this life-saving procedure, covering indications, technique, and potential complications. Understanding Intercoastal Drainage Intercoastal drainage, also known as chest tube insertion, is a procedure employed to manage pleural effusions, pneumothorax, and other conditions causing abnormal collections of air or fluid within the pleural space. Indications of an intercoastal drainage Knowing when to perform intercoastal drainage is pivotal. Common indications include tension pneumothorax, hemothorax, pleural effusions, and empyema. The goal is to re-establish negative intrapleural pressure and allow the lung to re-expand. Let's delve into the procedure. It involves creating an opening in the chest wall, typically in the 5th to 7th intercoastal space, and inserting a chest tube to drain fluid or air. Always adhere to aseptic techniques during the entire process. A safe triangle, shown below, has been described as the preferred site of insertion. This is the triangle bordered by the anterior border of the latissimus dorsi, the lateral border of the pectoralis major muscle, a line superior to the horizontal level of the nipple, and an apex below the axilla. Chest tube insertion technique. Ensure proper patient positioning and local anesthesia before making an incision. Choose an appropriate insertion site, and with a scalpel, create a small incision through the skin and subcutaneous tissue. Then, Carefully dissect through the muscle layers to access the pleural space. Chest tube placement. Introduce the chest tube using a trocar or blunt dissection. Confirm correct placement by observing the exit of air or fluid. Secure the tube with sutures and connect it to an underwater seal drainage system, allowing continuous monitoring. Complications and troubleshooting. Complications may include infection, bleeding, and tube malposition. Familiarize yourself with troubleshooting techniques, such as repositioning the tube or assessing for kinks, to ensure optimal functioning. Monitoring and aftercare. Post-insertion. Closely monitor the patient's respiratory status, chest drainage, and overall clinical condition. Educate the patient on signs of infection or complications and emphasize the importance of follow-up appointments. Conclusion. Intercoastal drainage is a critical skill for medical professionals dealing with patients. Mastery of this procedure can be a game changer in patient outcomes. Thank you for joining me in this exploration of intercoastal drainage. If you found this video valuable, please like and subscribe for more medical insights. Until next time, stay committed to excellence in patient care. Goodbye.